As challenging as working for and relying on someone else for your salary, the alternative can be much more difficult. You will have to put in extra work and hours for a result that isn't guaranteed. Starting a business may mean that you're your boss, but it also means that you are liable for anything and everything when it comes to issues in your industry. If you're determined to make it work, you first need to reconcile yourself with the risks that you're taking. From there, you should figure out what motivates you, whether it's the possibility of failure or that of success. When setting up your own business, you are better armed to brave the cutthroat world with a primary goal. You need to have a unique vision and a workable plan. When you have these aspects, you will gain the perseverance to keep going. There's a lot of technicalities involved in starting your own business. You need to be clear on what your vision is. A clear vision will help your employees to understand what you're trying to accomplish. At the same time, the customers who know your image may help you to achieve it. All that is great, but you also need to have a solid plan and understand your strengths and weaknesses. That's where a SWOT analysis will come in handy. As daunting as all this is, don't let it get you down. It's good to dream big, even if you have to root your expectations in reality. Having something more significant and more extraordinary to reach for will keep you going and growing. For better or for worse, money makes the world go round. If you want to become your boss, you're going to need a lot of it before you can get anywhere. Unfortunately, you're not likely to be able to scrounge up all the necessary funds on your own. Thus, you'll need to get it from somewhere else. As you know, it's better to avoid debt. However, when you're starting a business, this can be impossible. The essential thing to know is how to differentiate good debts from bad. Bad debts are loans you cannot pay back. Good ones turn liabilities into assets. Whatever funding option you choose, make sure you maximize what you can do with the money and turn every cent into an opportunity to make the capital back. Once you've set up your business and started getting into the rhythm of things, it's understandable to want to grow. However, you must first be sure that your company is chugging along fine first. It is all too easy to miss out on a critical detail and stall all your processes, especially if you're working with a small team, even just yourself. This can be disastrous. Therefore, you need to set up your company well and ensure that everything is working well before expanding. You can probably sell your products or services to anyone, but there will always be a unique target group that you can always rely on to choose you and your brand. This is your ideal customer, and you need to know them inside and out. By doing so, you can be sure that your services are tailored to attract that customer's attention. You can make your company better by knowing what people want. Getting new customers is essential, especially when you're just starting. However, you can't rely on getting new customers all the time. You need to make sure that a healthy proportion of them come back for repeat business. You have to up your customer service game. However, this doesn't mean that every customer will be your best customer. Some are just not worth having. Once your business is running smoothly, it's time to scale up. Doing so can be challenging as you may not have the fine control you had before with a minor team, making recruitment even more crucial. You need to find the right people to head departments or branches and more of the same to staff them. Each company, no matter how small, should have a pervasive company culture. Such a culture is born from the company's core values, which employees should be aware of from day one. If you don't have a solid team to rely on, things will get messy fast, and you may find all that you've worked for crumbling into nothing just when you were hoping to see it grow.